I'm about to challenge myself for 30 days. I'm going to switch full time to a tiling window manager of my choice and attempt to use only terminal based applications for the next 30 days where possible. So living in the terminal for the next 30 days, is that possible? Not entirely, but I can get pretty close. So you guys know I love the open box window manager. Love it. But it is a floating window manager, and if I'm going to live in terminal-based applications full-time for the next 30 days, really I need to switch over to a tiling window manager. They make more sense if you're going to live in a terminal full-time. So uh, I'm making the switch to a tiling window manager, and I'm probably going to use either Qtile or Xmonad. Why those particular tiling window managers? Um, is because I'm familiar with them and I love the way those two tiling window managers handle multi-monitors. They handle multi-monitors really well in a way I expect them to. Each one of my three monitors is a workspace. Xmonad, Monitor 1's Workspace 1, Monitor 2, Workspace 2, Monitor 3's Workspace 3, even if you have 10 workspaces. Each monitor is set to one workspace, each uh, it, its own workspace where a lot of tiling window managers handle uh, multi-monitors a little differently. One monitor has its own group of workspaces. That's kind of confusing to me. I like the way Qtile and Xmonad do multi-monitoring, so I'm going to go with one or both of those. I may install both of them on a system. And I'm going to leave OpenBox behind, at least for the next 30 days. And I'm going to use terminal-based applications where possible, 2E programs, terminal user interface. So command line programs, in curses programs, that sort of thing. And I'm going to attempt to do everything that I can in the terminal. That includes text editing. And by text editing, I mean I'm not going to have a graphical text editor at all installed on the system. I am only going to edit text in Vim. And that includes Nano, even though Nano is a text-based or a terminal-based text editor. I really want to spend the next month using nothing but Vim, because although I know a little Vim, I'm not a Vim master by any means, so I'm going to force myself to only use Vim anytime I need a text editor. That in itself is quite the challenge. A uh, web browser. Not going to use uh, Firefox or Chromium uh, unless I absolutely have to view a website that has images or video. Which, to be honest, you are not really viewing web pages that you have to see the images or video on that often. Obviously, something like YouTube is an exception, but for the most part, 90% 90, 90 of the time, I can live in a terminal-based web browser, something like Lynx. So, and that's probably the one I'm going to do is Lynx. Email. Terminal-based email applications work just fine, so no problems there. IRC, same thing. There's plenty of good terminal-based IRC chat clients. I'm probably going to use Ursi. But there's others available like WeChat that are really nice too. Torrenting, again, there's some good terminal-based torrent clients out there, such as rTorrent. Uh, viewing uh, bulletin boards and social media sites like Reddit, YouTube, Twitter, there's uh, terminal clients to help you with that. Games, if I want to do any gaming for the next 30 days, I'm going to do terminal-based games. That should be really fun because that's quite retro. As a matter of fact, it'll probably be games I played as a kid. Uh, if I can find some of the old games that I grew up on, you know, console-based games. Uh, we'll see. Uh, system monitoring, of course, terminal-based system monitors, etc. So, where possible, terminal user interface programs for the next 30 days. Obviously, there's going to be some exceptions. Uh, graphics and multimedia still have to be done in a GUI, of course. You can't create a graphic, for example, without being in a graphical program. So I'm going to have to use GIMP for some of the stuff I do on this channel, creating thumbnails for my, for my videos and things. Uh, OBS for streaming and making these videos. I have to use that program. There's no getting around that. Caden Live for video editing and a few other multimedia programs. So I'm going to keep all of that for my channel. You know, everything I use to make this channel, I, I'm going to keep using those programs because I have to. But other than what I do making these videos, pretty much the rest of the time, I'm going to be in a terminal. So what would my desktop look like if I was switching over to a tiling window manager full-time and living only in terminal applications? Well, 
I installed a Qtile session here on Lubuntu 18.04. I'm running Lubuntu 18.04, the beta, on my main production machine, at least for the next week or so. I may install something else very soon, though. Especially since I'm going terminal-based applications only and living in a tiling window manager only for the next 30 days, I may install a really minimal distro, one that doesn't have a graphical desktop environment of, of any kind installed, since I'm not going to use it. So I may do Arch or some minimal Arch-based distro. We, we'll see. Not exactly sure what distro, but I'm going to use Qtile or Xmonad or both. This is Qtile. And some of the terminal-based applications I have hotkeyed here um, that I would use a lot would be the Ranger File Manager. What a great terminal-based file manager. Uh, HTOP, of course. System Monitoring. It's an interactive process viewer. HTOP is great. IRC. IRC is my I IRC chat client. Um, it's checking, it's actually connecting to the free node network, but when it finally gets connected, connected, I could join to anything. I could connect to, I don't know, the Gen 2 channel here on free node that's got over 1100 people currently in the Gen 2 channel. Now let me kill all these programs. Also got the links web browser here. It is trying to load distrowatch.com, I believe. Yep. What else I have hotkeyed? I have my email client. This is NeoMutt. Kill the web browser and the email client. This is NewsButer RSS Newsfeed Reader. Awesome mixer, of course, for adjusting volume. Uh, Vim. I mentioned I was going to live in Vim for the next 30 days. Only text editor I will have will be Vim. This is my Qtile config, by the way, that loaded up in Vim here. Let me close all of this. Uh, some of the other stuff I have. This is TIG, which is a Git viewer for, you know, uploading stuff to my GitHub repos. Uh, close that one. Anything else I have hotkeyed? HTT ping. It's not a very interesting program, but I had it hotkeyed in mine. Another system monitor. And, oh, Vim again. We don't need to see Vim more than once. Too much Vim is a overkill. But anyway, that's my 30-day challenge, my self-challenge, because, again, I want to challenge myself, especially with this Vim thing, but also just living in a terminal where possible, because I do think that some of these terminal-based applications, they will uh, increase efficiency, uh, speed up my workflow. Uh, I think sometimes we get too comfortable in these graphical environments, you know, pointing and clicking where... If you set up your key bindings correctly and you really know where you're going to, like in the directory structure for file management and such, uh, I really think that I can get a lot more work done, possibly, or maybe less work done. We'll see. But for the next 30 days, I'm going to live full time in tiling window managers only and use, where possible, terminal based applications only. Before I go, I do want to do a special thanks to all my patrons. Ron, Brian, Carl, Greg, Carlos, Rob, Mark, Christian, Benjamin, Stephen, Marcus, Kevin, Bob, and Darkwin. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace.